Magnets are an unseen yet vital force driving today's technology. From the subtle hum of electric toothbrushes to the towering generators in power stations, magnets are indispensable in countless innovations. They silently power electric motors, data storage, medical imaging, and renewable energy solutions. Yet, despite their widespread use, traditional magnets have always faced constraints, particularly in producing strong, stable magnetic fields. For years, researchers and visionaries have imagined using magnets to generate free energy, systems that produce more power than they use. But these ambitions have stayed just out of reach, hindered by the limited strength of existing magnetic materials. Now, a revolutionary breakthrough by Nyron Magnetics could redefine what's possible. Their newly engineered supermagnets are up to 10 times more powerful than standard rare earth magnets. This monumental leap in magnetic power could finally turn free energy devices into a practical solution. Picture a future where energy isn't shackled to fossil fuels or restricted by power grids. A future where compact, high-efficiency machines produce endless, clean power. This is the potential reality Nyron Magnetics innovation could bring to life. To grasp the importance of this advancement, we must first understand magnets' role in current technology. Every electric motor, whether in a kitchen appliance or an electric vehicle, depends on magnets to transform electricity into movement. Generators, which convert mechanical energy into electricity, also rely on magnetic fields. Even advanced systems like maglev trains and MRI machines demand high-strength magnets. Still, traditional magnets have always had a performance ceiling in terms of power and efficiency. Rare earth magnets, crafted from elements like neodymium, have been the benchmark for years. Though stronger than older ferrite magnets, they still lack the potency needed for free energy applications. Many free energy designs, such as the Newman motor, Johnson motor, and Bedini motor, have faltered due to these shortcomings. These systems use permanent magnets to create motion and electricity without external power. However, until now, available magnets weren't strong enough to make these devices truly viable. Nyron Magnetic's discovery reshapes this landscape entirely. Their supermagnets are forged from a proprietary blend of neodymium, iron, and boron, optimized for peak magnetic intensity. The secret lies in their precision manufacturing, which aligns magnetic domains with unprecedented accuracy. The result is a magnet that's not only smaller and lighter, but vastly more powerful. With these supermagnets, free energy devices could finally conquer their biggest obstacle, inadequate magnetic force. Consider the Newman motor, a design that has captivated inventors since the 1980s. It uses permanent magnets to generate rotation, theoretically producing more energy than it consumes. Yet, in reality, conventional magnets couldn't deliver enough force to make the system self-sustaining. By integrating Nyron supermagnets, the Newman motor could achieve the necessary torque and efficiency to function as envisioned. Likewise, the Johnson motor, another promising free energy concept, could see remarkable upgrades. This motor uses magnetic interactions to produce motion without external power but has been restricted by magnet strength. Nyron's supermagnets could boost its speed and power output, making it a feasible energy source. The Bedini motor, known for its pulsed electromagnetic approach, could also see major gains. Traditional magnets limited its efficiency, but supermagnets could elevate its energy generation potential. Even more ambitious ideas like the Magna Coaster, a magnetic perpetual motion concept, could become achievable. With stronger magnets, the device could sustain endless motion, possibly producing usable electricity. The impact of this innovation stretches far beyond experimental free energy machines. Industries like transportation, aerospace, and renewable energy could all be revolutionized. Electric vehicles could become more efficient with lighter, more potent motors. Wind turbines could produce more energy with reduced mechanical drag. Space missions could leverage compact, high-efficiency power systems for extended exploration. Of course, hurdles remain, skepticism, technical challenges, and the need for further validation. But the possibilities are undeniable. Nyron Magnetics has unlocked a pathway to a new age of energy independence. The once-dismissed dream of free energy may now be attainable. 
As development progresses, we might soon see machines that break traditional energy barriers. The magnetic revolution is here, and it could reshape our world. The second major dimension of this breakthrough lies in its wider implications for science and industry. For centuries, inventors have chased the idea of perpetual motion, a machine that runs forever without external energy. While true perpetual motion defies thermodynamics, free energy devices aim to draw power from surrounding sources. Magnets, capable of generating force without direct contact, have always been key to these designs. Yet, until now, their limitations kept free energy machines in the realm of speculation. Nyron supermagnets could turn theory into reality. By vastly increasing magnetic strength, these magnets allow devices to operate with unmatched efficiency. This could lead to machines that tap into magnetic fields, vibrations, or even heat differences for energy. One thrilling possibility is integrating supermagnets into renewable energy systems. Solar and wind power, though clean, are inconsistent, reliant on weather. Free energy devices, if perfected, could provide uninterrupted backup power. Imagine a hybrid setup where solar panels work by day and a magnetic free energy device powers the night. Such a system could make off-grid living entirely self-sufficient. Energy storage is another promising application. Current batteries depend on chemical reactions, which degrade over time. Magnetic energy storage using supermagnets could offer a more durable solution. By storing energy as magnetic potential, these systems could recharge endlessly without wear. Transportation could also see radical changes. Electric vehicles still face range limits due to battery capacity. A free energy-assisted motor, powered by supermagnets, could extend driving distances. Even if not fully self-sustaining, such a system could reduce dependence on charging stations. In aerospace, where weight and efficiency are paramount, supermagnets could enable leaps forward. Experimental magnetic propulsion systems could become viable with stronger magnets. This might lead to faster, more efficient aircraft or even novel space travel methods. The medical field could also reap benefits. MRI machines need incredibly strong magnets for high-resolution imaging. Nyron supermagnets could make these devices smaller and more affordable. Portable MRI units could become a reality, bringing advanced diagnostics to underserved regions. Beyond practical uses, this breakthrough challenges scientific conventions. For decades, free energy concepts were dismissed as fringe science. But with tangible advances in magnet technology, these ideas demand re-evaluation. Researchers may need to revisit old experiments with new tools, uncovering overlooked principles. Skepticism is natural, extraordinary claims require solid proof. Yet the potential rewards justify thorough exploration. If even a fraction of these possibilities comes to pass, the impact would be immense. Energy poverty could fade as communities gain access to self-sustaining power. Carbon emissions could drop as fossil fuels are replaced by clean alternatives. Technological progress could surge as energy limits vanish. Nyron magnetic supermagnets represent more than an engineering milestone. They signify a shift in our perception of the possible. The path from lab to real-world use will take time, but the groundwork is set. The magnetic revolution isn't just about stronger magnets. It's about redefining energy's future. As research advances, we may see the birth of a new energy era. One where power isn't scarce but abundant and available to everyone. The era of free energy may finally be on the horizon. The journey we've taken through the world of magnets, free energy, and Nyron Magnetic's groundbreaking supermagnets reveals something extraordinary. We stand on the brink of an energy revolution unlike anything humanity has seen. For centuries, the dream of limitless, clean energy has been dismissed as fantasy, relegated to the pages of science fiction and the notebooks of fringe inventors. Yet, with the advent of supermagnets that defy traditional limitations, that dream inches closer to reality. The implications are staggering, not just for technology, but for society, the environment, and the very structure of our global economy. Imagine a world where energy poverty is eradicated, where remote villages power hospitals and schools without reliance on fragile grids. Picture cities where electric vehicles recharge themselves through magnetic induction roads, 
where homes draw power from compact, silent generators humming in basements. Envision industries no longer shackled by fuel costs, where manufacturing becomes radically cheaper and more sustainable. This isn't mere speculation. It's the logical endpoint of the breakthroughs we've explored. Nyron magnetic supermagnets didn't emerge from nowhere. They're the culmination of decades of material science, quantum physics, and relentless engineering, a testament to human ingenuity. Yet, like all paradigm-shifting discoveries, they face skepticism. The ghosts of failed free energy claims haunt this space, from perpetual motion hoaxes to overhyped inventions that never delivered. But this time is different. The science is verifiable, the materials replicable, the physics sound, if not yet fully understood. What makes supermagnets revolutionary isn't just their strength, but their efficiency. Traditional energy systems waste colossal amounts of power to heat, friction, and resistance. Superconductors have long promised near-perfect efficiency, but only at impractical, ultra-cold temperatures. Nyron's magnets operate at room temperature, achieving what was once thought impossible, strong, stable magnetic fields with minimal energy loss. This changes everything. Consider the Newman motor, once a fringe curiosity, now a potential cornerstone of decentralized energy. With supermagnets, its coils could generate torque rivaling industrial engines, all without fossil fuels. The Johnson motor, dismissed for decades as underpowered, could become the heart of off-grid power stations. The Bedini pulse system might evolve into ultra-efficient battery chargers that rejuvenate cells instead of degrading them. Even the Magna Coaster, straddling the line between science and speculation, could find practical applications in kinetic energy storage. But the impact extends far beyond these experimental devices. Take transportation, the sector consumes 30% of global energy. Electric vehicles still rely on heavy batteries with limited lifespans. A magnetic motor assisted by supermagnets could slash weight, extend range, and eliminate charging stops through regenerative acceleration. Aircraft, currently bound by fuel weight, might employ magnetic propulsion for quieter, cleaner flights. Spacecraft could harness these principles for long-duration missions without solar panels. In medicine, portable MRI machines powered by supermagnets could democratize diagnostics, bringing advanced imaging to war zones and rural clinics. Pacemakers might run for lifetimes without battery replacements. Neurostimulators could treat conditions like Parkinson's with unprecedented precision. The energy sector itself would undergo a seismic shift. Power grids designed around centralized generation could give way to distributed microgrids, each home its own power plant. Wind turbines, freed from gearbox failures, could operate maintenance-free for decades. Solar farms might store excess energy in magnetic batteries that never degrade. Industrial processes like aluminum smelting, currently energy gluttons, could become carbon neutral. Yet, challenges remain. Scaling production of supermagnets requires rare earth elements, a geopolitical hurdle. Energy lobbies may resist disruption to trillion-dollar oil and gas infrastructures. Safety protocols must evolve to handle ultra-strong magnetic fields in public spaces. And crucially, public perception must shift from skepticism to cautious optimism. History teaches us that transformative technologies face three phases, ridicule, resistance, then acceptance. Electric lights were once deemed unnatural. Airplanes were impossible. The internet was a curiosity. Supermagnets and free energy devices now enter that gauntlet. But the evidence is mounting. Independent labs are verifying results. Engineers are drafting blueprints. Entrepreneurs are securing funding. The pieces are aligning. What's needed now is not blind faith, but rigorous testing. Not hype, but reproducible results. Not revolution, but evolution one validated step at a time. For consumers, the first signs will be subtle. A new electric motor in your vacuum cleaner, oddly efficient. A power bank that recharges in minutes, lasts weeks. A car that goes farther costs less to run. Then the dam breaks. Industries adopt the tech. Governments incentivize transition. The energy economy pivots. We've seen this story before with steam, electricity, microchips. Each time, skeptics said, 
It won't work. Until it did. Nyron magnetic supermagnets may not be the final answer. But they're the key that unlocks the next era. An era where energy isn't scarce, but abundant. Not polluting, but clean. Not controlled, but liberated. The magnetic revolution isn't coming. It's already here. The question is no longer, is this possible? But how fast can we build it? And more importantly, what will we do with it? The end of electricity bills isn't just about saving money. It's about rewriting humanity's relationship with power itself. That future starts now. One magnet at a time.